Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to install Steam Deck Essential Mod in Palworld. I will be showing you the setup process on my Steam Deck running on Steam OS. This mod is developed by the Hybrid. They even released a similar mod for Starfield. You can also install this mod on other handheld devices like ROG Ally. Just to be clear, this mod is different from Luke FC's FSR3 frame generation mod. I have already uploaded a tutorial video for that mod, works very nicely on Steam Deck. These are the features of Hybrid's mod, enhances game anti-aliasing, enhances some post-processing effects, adds a cartoon art style to the game. This art style offers a decent gain in performance at the cost of image quality. I have already tested it, was not impressed by the image quality. At the moment, games HUD elements can exhibit a few bugs with the cartoon art style, so I would recommend using the normal art style. Add some performance presets that reduces the graphical settings further than what the game allows, thereby helping in improving the performance. You can expect the FPS to be within a range of 40 to 50. Reduces stuttering and improves frame times by placing the textures better for HDD and SD cards. Before showing you the installation process, I'll just quickly run the game without the mod. I'm using Proton Experimental as the compatibility layer for Palworld. Game has been installed on Dex internal SSD. We are in performance tab, overlay level set to 2, frame limit set to 60. That's it. 800p resolution, VSync and motion blur disabled, anti legend set to FXAA. Using the low preset, start the game. This is my base. Pals are working here, FPS is around 37. Some bandits are attacking. They are on their way. We are hitting the GP bottleneck. This is my pal. <laughs> What's going on? It seems the pal got stuck here on the bridge. Can happen. These guys are ignoring me. They are down. 35 to 37 FPS. Now I'll show you how to install the mod. I'll be installing the experimental version of the mod that adds support for FSR2 upscaler. We just need to replace the game's engine.inf file with the mod's engine.inf file. Put the mods folder in the game's directory. Add a launch option and then execute a registry file. So first we need to download the mod files. Need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here. And just click on files tab. No issues with the experimental version. Raid bosses gave a black screen. So disable FSR2 while doing them. Dungeons can look bad with FSR2 on. You also have the option to use the stable version. Entirely up to you. Then click on manual download under experimental. Then click on slow download. Once the download is complete, click on Dolphin File Explorer. Then click on downloads. There is the archive file that we just downloaded. I will transfer it to another folder. In the same directory, I have created this folder, pal exp mod. You can name it anything you want. Just transfer the archive file to this folder. Move here. Open the folder. Extract the contents of the archive file. Double click. Drag and drop all of the files in this directory. There you go. Installation instructions have been provided in the readme text file. Open it. Here they have provided the location where the game's engine.inf file is present. First we need to create a backup of the original file. And just copy the location. Select the third line, right click, copy, open file explorer. In the directory bar, just paste the location right here. Click on the tick icon. In this directory, look for engine.inf file. There it is. Right click, cut. And just paste it in any other directory. I'll just move it to the desktop. There it is. Now go back to the directory where you extracted the contents of the mod file. Open engine.ini folder. First I'll be using the cartoon art style. Open the folder corresponding to it. Here you will find different engine.ini file corresponding to different performance presets ranging from ultra quality to ultra performance. From my testing I observed that the balance preset with FXA anti-lazing offered a good balance between performance and graphical fidelity. So I'll open the folder corresponding to it. There is the engine.ini file. Right click, copy. Just paste it in the directory where the original engine.ini file was present. This directory. Right click. Paste. There is the file. Now I'll be moving the mods folder. Again go back to the directory where you extracted the mod files. 
copy the mods folder open the games install directory this is steamos running in desktop mode select the game from your library right click manage browse local files this will open the games install directory open pal folder open content folder open packs folder paste the folder here right click there you go need to transfer some more files open game directory folder open steamos folders copy these two files here open the games install directory open pal folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste the two files here we need to add a launch option there's the launch option copy it i'll provide it in the description of the video as well you can copy it from there open your steam library select the game right click properties then click on general tab there's the launch option bar paste the command here we are done now we need to execute a registry file enable signature override and this is the directory where this file is present so i'll be using proton tricks to execute this file you can download proton tricks for absolutely free from discover store here just look for palver there it is double click it will take a few seconds for the next window to pop up wait patiently there you go just click on the select the default find pricks option here okay then select run regedit option okay this window will pop up just click on registry here then click on import registry file navigate to the directory where enable signature override registry file is present already open in my case this is basically z folder the internal directory of steam deck then open home folder here then open deck folder and open download folder there is the pal exp folder that i created it has the files of the mod files and there is the registry file so it's easy to find it double click process has been completed click on okay that's it click on close close we are ready to run the mod i'll switch to steam gaming mode still using the same compatibility layer proton experimental as always it's not recommended to use the mod when playing the game in multiplayer mode graphic setting you can see we have access to dlss this is basically fsr2 i have set it to balance you can also set it to performance but this will make the game look very blurry i'll stick with balance low settings 800p resolution start the game let's see how the cartoon art style looks like we are in here fps is around 55 this is my base it's a heavily stripped down version of the game just check out the character models even the textures and this is my cabin foliage is not rendered at all we can see the branches and trunks of the trees the game world i'm not surprised at this the modder warned us about the cartoon art style i'll just fly around summon my pal fifty fps personally i don't recommend the cartoon art style it's entirely up to you basically the potato edition of pal world now i'll be switching to the normal art style the process is very simple just open the mods engine.ini folder open normal art style folder i'll be using balance fx a preset open the folder corresponding to it copy the engine.ini file paste it in the directory where the original engine.ini file was present this directory you'll see an override prompt give the permission and that's it we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam gaming mode still using the same settings as before we are in and now the character models are rendered properly that's how pals are supposed to look trees have their foliage again fps is around 50 47 this is why i recommend using normal art style we are still getting the performance gains i'll summon my pal fly around where did my pals we go Yes, the pal. 
even using the low preset graphics look decent water is ended properly attacking the pals that's a failed boss I don't want to fight against this pal won't be able to defeat it trying to take out this pal struggling so much I'll just descend <laughs> these pals seem to be confused I took them out so mod works very nicely on steam deck I'll end the video here guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day